Are you ever tired of scrubbing timelines on your video editing programs like Premiere Pro or adjusting volume control on your computer? In this video, I will be teaching you how to make a utility desktop knob for editors and DIY enthusiasts alike. First, we need the Digispark 80Tiny85. It is a cheap microcontroller with HID capabilities. This means it can simulate a keyboard command through sensors, encoders, or buttons. Next, we have a rotary encoder. It determines the angular position of a rotating shaft and converts it into electrical signals. The unique thing about this rotary encoder is that it has a push-button switch. We can later on set functions when clicking, double-clicking, or holding the switch. Next, we need 3D printed parts with the files I will provide in the link below. Then, we need 4 M3 10mm screws with the nut that came with the encoder. In summary, these are all the parts and tools you'll need. Here's the summary of the schematic diagram. Feel free to pause the video and refer to it while soldering. We can start by stripping a few wires and soldering it to the encoder. Make sure to prime the pins on the encoder with lead as it makes it easier for the wires to be soldered directly. Do the same as we solder the wires directly to the board. In addition, you might want to add hot glue to secure and insulate the wires in place. One last thing, you have to cut the line between LED to pin 1 as it interferes with the internal pull-up resistor value in reading the push-button switch. Now that the electronics are done, all we need to do is to mount it in its 3D printed shell. Grab the part with the rectangular bracket and add an ample amount of hot glue. Be ready to quickly set the microcontroller in place. Next, take the middle part with the round hole and screw the encoder in place. Make sure you tighten it with nose pliers. Secure the two parts in place using screws. Lastly, take the lid and gently push it against each other until it slips in. From here on, we have finished the assembly. First, download the Adafruit Trinket HID Combo Library. Then, copy it to your Arduino library. Afterwards, open the Arduino sketch file. Here, you will find two tabs. One for the main loop of the program, and one for the functions where you can easily edit the shortcuts. Make sure you have selected the right board and the right port, and start upload. Unlike ordinary Arduino microcontrollers, you are only given 60 seconds to upload after plugging it to your computer. And there you have it. In Premiere Pro, you can move across the timeline by rotating the knob. You can double press to cut a layer and hold to switch profiles. A run command will show the current profile so you don't have to blindly switch between them. In media mode, you can turn the knob to increase and decrease the volume. Press the knob to pause or play the music. And whatever you choose to do, I hope you had a great time building one. In the next video, I will be making a CNC pen plotter using scrap DVD drives that you can find lying around or in the junkyard. Feel free to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.